Hey guys, it's Monday morning here in the Philippines, so it's time for us to do our premium car unboxing. And just like a few weeks ago, we're going to do another Movie Car Monday with all green light Hollywood series cars. That's kind of why I set our background theme with these cars that you see. Most of them you've seen already, so we won't be taking a detailed look at them except for the police car there. That's the Monaco from the Terminator, so we will be taking a look at it a little bit later. And even our little figure here standing next to Jethro Gibbs Challenger is actually a movie-themed character. That's supposed to be Buddy Repperton from Christine. It came uh, from a Johnny Lightning set. And the reason I have him out here is because today we're taking a look at three different Christine movie cars, along with a couple of RVs. So let's start with the Christine cars, and what better one to start with than Buddy Repperton's Camaro. And these I just picked up this past week. I finally got the Camaro and got Christine herself from Greenlight. The only one I've had from Greenlight for a while was Dennis's 68 Charger. Had Christine and 124th, both versions, the regular and then the evil, but I never had the 164th up until this week, so I was kind of glad to get those finally. But anyways, this is Repertin's 67 Camaro, and they actually... Did a very nice job on this one. The wheels they put on it looked pretty accurate to the ones that he ran in the movie. They were kind of like the turbine style wheels, almost looked like a Corvette knockoff uh, style wheel, like a C2 type of knockoff style rim. So looked really cool in the Camaro. And anyways, they did a great job replicating these wheels because the one from this set that the little figure came from from Johnny Lightning the car's not bad but the wheels I think they put on it were Krager so they were not so accurate uh, but this one they got it down pretty good and even like the Hot Wheels retro entertainment one I had told you guys about or I actually showed you we unboxed it a few weeks ago um, maybe a couple months ago actually but they used uh, a wheel that would be similar to like a turbine style wheel too so they tried their best to mimic the wheel with the Hot Wheels Retro Entertainment one too but anyways this is a really cool car and one thing I've noticed about the Christine collectibles that I didn't notice on other cars from green light never really paid attention but since I love the movie Christine I was reading these packages in detail and the age is 17 plus most of green light cars are intended for adult collectors but they always have 8 plus but they put 17 plus on this because the movie was R-rated which I thought was kind of unique that they based the collectibles on the movie restriction too so um I just thought that was different. Um, but I don't know about the other movie cars. We'll take a look at the RVs and see what the age is on them and see if they indicated anything special on those packages. So anyways, let's get him out and take a better look at him. On the back of the package, it doesn't have anything about the Camaro. Just how do you kill something that can't possibly be alive? So that's pretty cool. Uh one of the lines from the movie I believe I think Dennis said that to the girl that Arnie was dating so yeah anyways very cool car so let's get him out and get a better look at him they even did a great job with that like silver and blue color they they did a great job remaking this car I'm kind of impressed and uh, one that I don't have yet that they just released, actually I don't think it's in the stores yet, but they actually released the Detectives Monaco from that movie, and uh, that's pretty cool because it's a light blue detective style Monaco, and then the only other car you would really need is like his parents' Volvo wagon, and then the uh, Cadillac of Darnell, which I think they already make a Cadillac of Darnell's. It's not really called Darnell's Cadillac, but it's very similar from Auto World. I think there's one with the exact color combination of his. I'm not sure if it's the right year or not, though. 
But anyways, back to the Camaro. So as you can see, this silver blue paint they did pretty good with. The uh, black SS stripes, but this was just a V8 Camaro from the movie. No SS, no RS. You can see the plain grill, the exposed headlights, no hideaways. So just your typical Camaro, but it was a V8. So very nicely done. And I'm always wondering if these plates match up to the cars in the movies. I'm sure they do because a lot of these manufacturers take that into account and add that extra detail. So once again, very cool. So we'll put this over here next to Buddy Repperton so he has his 67 Camaro back. So <clears throat> let's do Dennis's 68 Charger. Now, this one I've had for a while. Actually, you guys seen this in my Christine video, I believe. But we never opened it during that video. Um, I've done a second-gen Charger video, and I showed this in that video. Uh, I can't remember. I may have unboxed it in that video already. But, hey, we're going to take it out of the package again um, and take a look at it. Because I display these packaged, and I can't remember if I unboxed this during that video or if I just showed it. So... Anyways, uh, let's get him out and get a better look at him. And they did a pretty good job with uh, reproducing this car too because the blue is pretty accurate. Black vinyl top and this one does have craters like it did in the movie. Has the Kelly white wall tires and everything so it's pretty accurate. Um, so they did a good job on this one too and it has opening hood. But, yeah, yeah, this one opens actually pretty good. The Camaro also, actually, I'll back, back up to the Camaro. It does have an opening hood, but this one doesn't want to open all the way. So, it has a little bit of something in there uh, restricting it from opening all the way. But you can see it is a V8 Chevy, like small block or something. Well, it should be a small block. That's what it supposedly had in the movie. So, anyways, that's... About as far as it goes with the Camaro's hood opening. Um, then you have Dennis's Charger, which probably has like a 383 or 440 in it, something like that. Um, very nice car. Trademark round tail lights of the 68 Charger, which I always like. That's one of the features I like best about the 68s. And then the big open grill with the hideaway headlights that was always another selling point of the 68s to me so very nicely done by green light once again so <clears throat> let's get the star of the movie out and look at her that is Christine and as I said I just got lucky enough to add this to my collection this past week with Repperton's Camaro uh, I was kind of anticipating getting one of these here in the Philippines for a while and finally one of the hobby shops here got these in so I was pretty stoked about that. Um, so let's get her out and get a better look at her. Uh, this car is nicely done by green light but there are a couple things I'll point out that I don't like. I find it a flaw and I'll let you guys be the judge of it. <clears throat> So, here she is, and they did a pretty nice job with everything on this car, except for the A-pillar. The A-pillar is way too wide, um, in my opinion, so it should be a lot narrower than that. So, that's the only downside to this entire casting. Everything else, I think, is great. And this one, I do believe, has the correct plates on it because it did have a yellow plate on it. As you can notice, all the other cars in the movie had blue plates. Charger. The Camaro. So maybe this was like antique plates that Arnie was running on Christine. So... 
downside to the casting, the hood doesn't open. But if you've gotten the new Auto World releases, the hoods no longer open on the Auto Worlds either, which is a big, big disappointment. I don't know if the regular 58 Furies are opening or not, but the Christine no longer opens. Uh, the last opening hood one was the uh, pre-restoration Christine from Miho. That was the last one. Or maybe it was the Red Chrome, I think, was released after that. But all the regular... Um, release Christine's all except for the first issue and do not have opening hoods. The one in the clamshell style package that came at the display case does have an opening hood, but the second issues do not. So with this not having an opening hood, it's really no big deal. Um, the thing that bothers me though are the side windows and then the A-pillar. It just, the A-pillar is definitely way too big and then the Trim around the windows may be a little bit too big and make make the windows on the side look a little bit too small in my opinion. I think green light tried a little too hard on this. They did that with the 240Z too. The 240Z looks horrible with the small windows in it. Um, so they kind of did that with this one too. But this one's a little more tolerable than what the Z was. But everything else is really killer, like the emblems, the tail lights, the bumpers, the hubcaps, white wall tires, everything. And this is supposed to be the evil release. I think they did a regular release of Christine too with clear windows and you could see a detailed interior. But this is the evil variant with the blacked out windows, just like the 124s that I have that I showed you in the one Christine video that has the... Evil with the all black windows and then the um, regular daytime Christine, I guess you would call it, with the clear windows and detailed interior. So <clears throat> there you have it. There's Christine, there's Dennis's 68 Charger, and Repperton's 67 Camaro. And let's go ahead and move Buddy up here and put him next to his Camaro. So, that's the trifecta from the Christine movie. Now I just have to get the cop's Monaco. And speaking of Monaco, let's go ahead and look at this one. And that's kind of one of the reasons I brought this car out here today. Because you haven't seen it yet. And it is a green light movie car from the first Terminator movie. But also, <clears throat> excuse me guys. Because they released it for the Christine series in a light blue, it's kind of like the, well, Hunter variant of the car that you guys have seen before. But it's just like this one, but in light blue. So I thought that was pretty cool. And this is also a green light movie car, well, TV show car from the series Hunter. Speaking of that, I just ordered the Nova from that show. That's kind of like a beater-looking Nova. Hope to get that soon. But they did a killer job on these Monaco's from Greenlight. I have to say, like, all the detail with the grills, the headlights, the bumpers, everything is pretty nicely done. The rear bumper. And the scaling, too, I think is pretty accurate because these are big cars. Um... So is the 58 Plymouth, but see, they're pretty much the size, but I think the 78 Monaco may have been a little bit bigger than the 58 Plymouth, just by a hair, but I would say this one's pretty much too scale, but it is a big, heavy casting from Greenlight, and also it has an opening hood, and <clears throat> with a really big engine, <laughs> because, like, the engine in this should be the same thing is what's in the 68 but you could see the scaling on the engine in the 68 is way way off maybe even in the monaco too it may be way too big so anyways green light needs to work on their engine scaling <laughs> so that's the only thing i can say but it's not too bad so, but this is a very cool car. This came from the Terminator series, or Terminator movie. This one in particular came from a hitch and tow set. It came with a 78 Ram Charger uh, and a trailer 
and then the Monaco. They do sell this in like a single package too. So you could buy it just single pack if you didn't want the Hitch and Toe set. But that Hitch and Toe set came out a couple years ago. Uh, I think in 2018, that's when I bought this. I think that's when the first release of the car came out too. So pretty cool piece. Then we can move along to our motor homes. And these guys I've had for actually probably three years each um and then i just now opened the christmas vacation one which we'll do first since i just said that <laughs> i've had this for as i said three years but never opened it i always just displayed it like this and brought it out as a christmas ornament like or christmas display p a piece around the holidays because it does have a perfect themed package with the wagon with the big christmas tree Eddie's Motor Home, and then the house with all the lights, and then Chevy Chase up there getting electrocuted. So yeah, pretty cool uh, design on the package. So it was always a nice display piece. So even though I opened it today, I'm still going to put it back in the package and display it this way. But mine, I think, is a little extra dirty. I've seen some where the blue is more visible than what's on mine, but I think mine has a little extra dirt on it. I don't know, though. <laughs> I may be wrong, but it just seems that way to me. Uh, <clears throat> then on the back of the package, it does tell you a story about Clark Griswold and all of the Christmas thing, like this holiday season. Clark Griswold vows his clan will enjoy the most fun-filled old-fashioned family christmas ever before you can sing fa la 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 he decks the halls with ha halls of folly in the perennial favorite national lampoon's christmas vacation seeing is believing there are 25,000 lights on the roof an exploding turkey on the dining room table a SWAT team Taking siege outside, full of wit, heart, and cheer, goofiness. You'll love it. So this is actually one of the very few packages where they actually describe something about the movie. So I think that's pretty cool, too. So as I said, the package kind of is a perfect display piece for the Christmas season. So let's get him out and look at him a little closer. So, here is the one side that you've seen in the package. And as I said, it looks like it's a little bit too dirty in my opinion. But hey, um, the other side's not as dirty. You could see the blue a little better, but still pretty dirty. Um, but it is pretty cool. Pretty accurate to the movie. Even the Christmas wreath on the front end. So, really cool really dirty and so but it is nicely done 1972 concord i think it is um let me get the package back and see the name yeah 1972 concord 2 i never knew what this thing was to be honest with you so this is like the first time i've seen what type of vehicle it was by buying this toy a few years ago so this is very cool. As I said, Cousin Eddie's Motor Home is always a cool piece to have at the Christmas season on display in my home. So do love this one. And it fits perfect with like my old beat up garage with like all of the beater vehicles and such. It kind of fits in perfect here. So it may actually end up being a, per a permanent fixture uh, one day at the old Route 66 abandoned shop. So, last but not least is the Walking Dead 1973 Winnebago Chieftain. This is the first release of this. They did another box release with like the chair on the roof and some other like little accessories. So, it 
was done uh, like that for the Walking Dead series. Then they did a regular like hitch and toe release of the 73 Winnebago with a trailer with a boat. And that was actually pretty cool too. Wish I would have picked that up, but I never did. Um, so anyways, this I've had opened and opened it as soon as I got it to put on display. Because I just really dug this old Winnebago. And this one doesn't say a lot but it does have an actual picture of the vehicle on the back and it does say amc's the walking dead tells the story of the months and years that follow after a zombie apocalypse the series follows a group of survivors led by sheriff's deputy rick grimes who travels in search of a safe and secure home so pretty cool uh this i think was only in the first first season or second season and yeah by the way as you can see here on this it says 14 and older so christine was kind of unique and let me see what it says on the uh the, actually the christmas vacation i don't remember it being rated r but it says 17 plus on that package too. Maybe it was rated R, but I don't recall it being rated R. I thought it was like PG-13. So, and this is kind of an odd age too, 14, because you would figure it would be like 13 for PG-13 since it's on regular, well, cable television, AMC. You would figure that it would have been like 13 or something like that. But anyways, um... I never really checked out the package on this in too much detail. The Christmas Vacation one I did because I display it every year like in our Christmas, well, like displays in our house and such. So I always read that and look at it. I always get a kick out of seeing Cousin Eddie's Motorhome. So the Walking Dead one is, as I said, when I first got this, I opened it up and put it on display in like my diorama because I just thought it was really cool to have like the 73 Winnebago. But anyways, let's get him back out of the package. I just wanted to show you the original package, but this is before I even learned how to open the package is good. I used to just cut the blister open and make the top part of the blister like a hinge and then open it this way. But nowadays I open them from the back. That way you can still hang them on the wall if you want to and display them. But with this one, you can't because then... Um, blister would be flopping around and it may actually fall off because of the weight of the vehicle or maybe not the blister entirely fall off but swing open enough where the vehicle may fall out so anyways that's why i just leave him on display on my table with the other diorama in the other room so here he is up close and they even got everything down to like the cracked windshield and such detailed front end very cool and all the details on the roof Detailed lights, ladder, everything. They nailed it with this casting. The only thing they did is dark out the windows so they didn't really have to do any detailing in the back area. But they did do a little bit of detail in the driver compartment a little bit because the windshield is slightly clear. But besides that, they don't do much interior work in these RVs. They try to, I guess save some money on that by darking out all the side glass but still a very cool piece i do dig that a lot um so let's try to get everything back out here in the picture these rvs are big they're blocking everybody else out so i'd actually probably put these guys out here give you guys one more look at everything and that wrap it up for us for our premium unboxing today guys so it's another green light movie monday some old and new newer releases i can't say brand new 
But Christine and the Camaro were new for me. I, they've been out for a couple of months, though. All the other ones have been out for a year or longer. Um, so very cool castings. I like all of them. Uh, still, as I said, anticipating the Detectives Monaco for Christine. That'll be really cool. And then I'm going to have to look into Auto World and see if they have a Cadillac with the same paint job as Darnell's. I think Darnell's is a 76 Coupe de Ville like uh, Green Light, or not Green Light, but like Auto World has, but I can't recall. I don't remember it because you don't really see that car too much in the movie. Well, you really don't even see the Detectives Monaco that much. You just, these are the three iconic ones. And his parents' orange Volvo wagon was also in the movie a few times. You always seen it sitting in the garage. So, anyways, guys, this is it. So, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Please give me a thumbs up. Please share the video. We will be back on Wednesday for our chase car unboxing. And yes, I did land another chase vehicle. So we will be unboxing it. Unfortunately, it's only one. So I'm going to kind of merge it with as a round two unboxing day. Because it is an ultra red. And it's actually my first white tire ultra red. Finally got one. So we'll be unboxing it and its regular counterpart. And we will also be unboxing a couple of JL cars too. So we'll just make it a round two day with a chase car feature. So make sure you tune back in on Wednesday for that one. Enjoy the first part of your week, guys, and thanks for watching.